hello everyone and welcome to my channel in today's recipe i'll be showing you how to make this simple yet very tasty chocolate cake recipe so welcome and let's begin to make this cake i'll need two eggs so into a clean bowl i'm going to crack two eggs and then i'll whisk these two eggs for like 10 seconds or until they are well mixed up and then I'll add in one cup of granulated sugar and then one cup of vegetable cooking oil and then again I'm going to mix for like one minute and then I'll set this mixture aside next thing I'm going to prepare buttermilk by just adding one tablespoon of white vinegar into just warm milk this mixture will cuddle up and make buttermilk very fast but you, instead of this you can use plain yogurt so into my mixture again I'm going to add in this buttermilk and then one tablespoon of vanilla essence then I'm going to mix this mixture until everything is well incorporated or until all the sugar dissolves well after that I'll add in flour baking powder baking soda and salt then cocoa powder and not chocolate guys cocoa powder and I'm going to just sift everything together and by doing this we are going to get very smooth butter with no lumps After that process just go ahead and mix this butter until everything is well incorporated. At this point guys this butter is ready and I'm just going to set it aside and I'm going to be making coffee water so I'll be using I'll use half cup of hot water and into that I'm going to add one tablespoon of coffee granules This is ready and I'll just add in this coffee water into my butter and this will help the coffee will help to enhance the taste of the chocolate cake and the hot water will give us a very soft cake at this point I'll just have to mix this butter very well until everything is well incorporated
this butter is ready now so here is my baking tin for today I've lined it with parchment paper and at this point I'll pour in this cake butter and I'll just tap in to remove the air bubbles and after this guys I'm going to bake this cake in a preheated oven for an hour then an hour later the cake is ready it smells so nice I'll just remove this cake from the cake tin and guys for you to know that your cake is ready you should insert a skewer inside the cake the cake and when it comes out clean just know that your cake is well done So after removing the cake from the baking tin, I'll take a wire rack and place my cake there until and wait until it cools down completely. Then after this cake has cooled down, I'll just wrap it with cling film and put it in fridge for like 3 hours. Then I'll take 2 cups of butter or margarine, I use margarine 2 cups. And then after whipping that margarine, I'll take one and a half cups of, of icing sugar and then I'll add cocoa powder and then I will sift these ingredients together. And again, I'll be doing this so that I can get very, very smooth mixture. After that, I'll go in with my hand mixer and try to whisk everything together so that I can get very smooth cake frosting so guys the measurements of all the ingredients which I've used today I'm going to link them in the description box so please kindly remember to check so guys after whipping the cake frosting very well now it's ready and I'll just set it aside and I'll make chocolate ganache now so to make this chocolate ganache I'll just take a pan and pour in one cup of chocolate dark chocolate and then I'll add in a quarter cup of whipping cream and I'll take this mixture and place it in a cooker on very low heat this is the chocolate which I've used guys and after a while this chocolate ganache is ready and I'll just pour it in into my cake frosting and I'll whisk it up very very nicely and at this point this cake frosting is ready so I'll just set it aside and then I will take the third plate to assemble my cake there so after three hours this cake is ready and I'll just put very little frosting 
at the bottom of the dessert plate and then I place this cake there and I just divide this cake into two portions and after that I layer cake frosting on the first layer and then top up with the other half and guys the reason why I had to place this cake in in a fridge for three hours it's because I wanted the cake to be a little bit firm because this type of cake it's very very soft and that will make the cake a little bit firm even when you're trying to put the frosting it will still be firm enough so after cutting I'll just layer on the rest of the cake frosting and making this cake it's so so simple and easy and then after a short while you'll have this wonderful cake at the comfort of your home and guys you can make this cake for your birthday for your kids birthday or for any of your special occasions it's so easy to make no stress at all so at this point I'll just top it I'll just top up with some um, dark chocolate and this cake is ready now and look at that it looks so amazing it looks so beautiful and I'm sure it is going to taste very very nice so guys thank you so much for watching hoping you've learned one thing or two and definitely you're going to try this amazing amazing chocolate cake recipe for yourself and for your loved ones it is very soft as you can see if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please consider subscribing give this recipe a like if you enjoyed share it with your friends and family and again don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you'll get notified on my new recipes Nakama kawaida enjoy